Hey everybody, this is Frankie Abrazino with the Uncensored Report, and I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about this Trump victory and some of these uh, stars that are whining. Uh, you notice I took off the wife beater shirt that I was had earlier when I did the uh, charity donation, and I'm not going to wear my Make America, hat, uh, Make America Great Again. I'm not going to rub it in too much, okay? But what we want to do is talk about these celebrities. and Why do these idiots always come out and say, I'm going to move to a different country? when they know damn well they're not. They look foolish. You know, you got a bunch of these uh, big whiny butt celebrities. They come out. They spend months just sitting there saying, Trump sucks. Um, I'm declaring now that I will leave the country. I'll move away if Donald Trump becomes president. I can't stay here. We can't live under his reign. And so now he has. So what are they going to do? Are they going to move? Will they really get up and leave all their fortune and the good lifestyle that they have to go live in Spain or wherever? He's officially won. It's time to move on. You know, you got a few, and I just wanted to cover a few of the uh, actors that ran their mouths. Sure. You know, there's a lady, she did so much plastic surgery. Jesus Christ. Um, she claimed that she would go to Jupiter. <laughs> she, she probably lives on Jupiter now. Um, do you, I haven't heard any reports of spaceships taken off. I think she's still grounded here. She hasn't come out on Twitter. Her and John Stewart. John Stewart basically said the same thing. If uh, Trump wins, I'm going off to another planet. Um, I'm getting a rocket. I'm taking off. Again, nothing from him. You got Chelsea Handler. Don't even know who this lady is. She says she already bought another house in Spain. And she threatened to leave the country. Oh, God, please don't leave. Are you kidding me? But nothing on, no, she's silent on Twitter. She was real boisterous during the uh, campaign. How about this girl crying up here? How ridiculous. Miley Cyrus up there crying. Oh, my God, Hillary lost. She was on Instagram. She was threatening to move out of the country. Uh, did she mean it? I don't think so. She cried into hysteria. She recorded herself crying as it actually happened. Some powerful stuff up there. Are you watching that video? There, I'll put it on again for you. Whoopi Goldberg, one of the most annoying progressives out there. She claimed it was time for her to move on if Trump would win. She hasn't come on and said it, but is she still leaving? Will she leave? I mean, she won't be able to do the view. She'll lose all that money. She did come out at least, though, and admit that uh, she didn't think everyone voting for Trump was a racist. Oh, good, I'm not a racist. Just that all racists would be voting. <laughs> Barbara Streisand, this is another progressive. The actress in a uh, huge, huge Hillary support. Actually, she's a huge supporter of anyone on the left, if you don't know that. She said she was going to move. She's going to go to Canada. She's going to go to Australia. She doesn't know, but she's taken off. She's still here. Al Sharpton. Big tax dodge. He should be leaving just to avoid the taxes when Donald Trump and the IRS come after him. He said, that's it. I'm reserving my tickets. I'm getting the heck out of here if he wins. Who could blame the guy? He hasn't said anything about leaving, though. And he was out on the morning, I think it was Morning Joe or something like that. And he was still spreading his fair porn out there about how Trump ran a campaign that was totally based upon racial fears and division. And there, I mean, there's a ton more. Lena, Lena Durham, she said, claimed that 100% chance that she will be moving to Canada. She was uh, shocked, shocked if Trump would win. But she, I don't see her doing that. She's not updating her social media. Again, all these people very boisterous about how they're leaving, how they will not tolerate living under a regime. I heard some um, pundit today say, you know what? I'm really concerned. Is Donald going to treat, uh, since he owns both houses, is he going to treat this like a regime and a totalitarian? And I'm wondering, wait a second. You mean similar to how Obama did when he had both houses in his first four years? You mean like that and when it was no problem then, but now it's a major issue? Think about it, folks. You got Samuel Jackson. That's another one out there. He's accusing, he accused Trump of running a hate-filled uh, campaign. Told Kim on a skit, old uh, Donald is a mobile folk because presidents. And he said he's moving his black, you know what, off to South Africa. But what he doesn't realize, because he's a freaking moron, is that South Africa is mostly white. <laughs> he should be considering somewhere else. Stephen King, he lives right down the road here in Nokomis. 
We're almost neighbors. He lives 10 minutes away. He says it scares him. I didn't think this guy could be scared by anything. You know, the terror of Donald Trump scares um, Stephen King. Really? Raven, my, my my kids used to watch that lady. She said she moved the entire family to Canada. Is she going to leave the vo voice too? But yesterday she retreated. So far, she may uh, be the only one making good on her promise. So she says she is going to vacate the country. She is going to take off. And we'll all be better for it. Same with people like Amy Schumer. She lost it yesterday. Do you see that one? So far, though, Raymond's the only one. She says she's going to take off. Let's see if she does follow through and make good on it. So, I just wanted to come on. That's my uncensored report. I'm wondering, when are all these people going to leave? All these foolish idiots that actually get out there and say, if Donald leaves, I'm going to leave the country. If Donald wins, I'm going to leave the country. Good rhythms. See ya. Asco la vida, baby. You're out of here. Especially this crybaby on the screen, Miley Cyrus. What a disappointment she's become. This has been Frankie Abrazino with the Uncensored Report.